I got bad news for some people because sometimes this toxic stress is generational. You're born with it. It's kind of handed down, unfortunately, from generation to generation. And you're born sort of predisposed to this toxic stress. And it usually will affect sleep processes, but it will also affect your gut health and the gut brain access. And if you don't address this inflammation and you don't calm this process down, it just starts to go downhill and downhill because you then can't create healthy brain waves to to function in the rest of your daily life. Yeah. Addressing the gut is is a primary thing when you're dealing with a child or an adult with toxic that has experienced toxic stress for a long period of time. Yeah. And the you have to address the gut. I mentioned earlier how cortisol affects the brain. It doesn't just affect the brain. I mean, it suppresses your immune system. It is a culprit in many of the chronic diseases, heart disease, diabetes, things like that. It just creates a susceptibility to a lot of different negative conditions that can really adversely affect your life.